What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Dima Podcast. It's Neela. And it is Adis. What's up, family? What's up? Shout out to all our subscribers. We do have a subscriber of the day. Shout out to Zeo Wolf Rider 200. Shout out Zeo Wolf Rider. Welcome to the TV family. And also shout out to, we want to give a shout out who comments on all of our videos. We see your comments all the time. What up? What up? Shout out to what shout up. Shout out to what up. <laughs> we appreciate you all. What's good? Eliza and Trey Songs. Boom. We have a lot to unpack today, dude. A lot of weird SA allegations. I can't even say the real world real real word because youtube will really? sock us in the neck yeah no they way. don't like that that word you know which is good i don't like the word either Wait, you know what i'm saying it, in my mind i'm trying to figure out what it stands for is something it? assault got yeah. it, got it, got it, yep, got it. Yep. so it's not something to laugh about or joke about but the thing is a lot of creepy stuff are in the news before I even go up into any of the shit, another associate of Jeffrey Epstein hung himself, or not, I don't even know, uh, hung himself, found dead in his prison cell in a French, Weird. French prison. Weird. Weird how they just keep offing or dying. Themselves. You know, the line of communication gets shorter and shorter and shorter. That's why I'm like, dude, I don't know about the girl, Jelaine Maxwell, if something's going to happen to her because she's like the ringleader type shit, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But I think it would be maybe too, you know, high profile for her to die. They'd be like, okay, a lot of yeah. red flags, but then they also don't give the company they, just does what they want. You know, the company, and I've been watching, rewatching Prison Break. Um, I realize that they probably just need them. If they haven't killed them, if they haven't offed you, they still need something from you. They need that is information. Very true. Mm -hmm. So Trey Songs is having another lawsuit, a twenty million dollar lawsuit with another woman that says he allegedly SA'd them, which is effing insane because this is this is like a redundant theme with trey songs bro a lot of people in the past have come forth and said this guy is a creepo bro he does really weird things to girls and think about it this guy was the like sex symbol of r&b and yeah. hip-hop for so many years girls were like swooning over him saying like i would let trey songs do whatever to me and then when the guy does whatever to you so he really invented sex exactly bro in, in the weirdest fucking, way possible bro and i'm thinking like dude how does he get away with this shit bro i almost wonder if i almost think that so many celebrities are in that type of like shabakery, but they do a better job, their PR, at, like keeping it under the, the carpet. But um, so Selena Powell and Eliza, who are no Which longer tie friends, into all of this shit, right, uh, are no longer friends or they're, they're like only fans models. And we talked about them being on No Jumper quite some time back. And um, they're just interesting and funny. So anyways, they were actually one of the few to step in and talk about Trey songs and how when they did stuff with him and like very Miami like explicit, graphic, like. It's gross to even think about the things that people find, like, ill. But they've talked about him and him. So I'm not surprised to hear that he's facing these allegations. But um, that $20 million is a lot of money. And, like, why? Do you just have that much money to throw when you choose to be this, like, like aggressive and you're fine with getting sued I'm at this point? I feel like they're all allegations unless the people have evidence. But a lot of these girls have gone to, like, the jail and done, like, our kits mm -hmm. that, like, make – that pretty make it evident that something did happen to them you know what i mean it's just sad because the narrative always switches because a lot of these people are thinking oh they're just groupie girls that like let them why would you be in that situation it's like bro they didn't ask to get our word i was just gonna say i don't want to be desensitive to the girls right yeah, like i bro. don't think girls are gonna lie and i hope that they don't you know some people do take advantage of athletes um to get a bag you know yeah like to secure a bag a lot of the times by getting pregnant, like things like that, right? So I don't think, I mean, it's a very, very, um, like, it's sensitive to lie about something like that. And it's a big allegation, right, mm -hmm. on somebody. So I would hope that a lot of these females aren't just doing it just because. But, but if, you know, if they are to collect a bag, that's shady because it is to the celebrities it too. It is. Karma is real. But then you also have to understand, as much as it's up for the celebrities, bro, as a celebrity, you know you have a sort of pull with your fans and all of these people. Like, you have a sense of authority over them where they'll kind of do whatever for you. You're kind of like who they look up to and who they've looked on the, like, TV and shit. And they're powerful. And like, they're, powerful. they're powerful. That, they have... a sense of celebrity gives you power, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you're a big timer. You know that girls will essentially do anything for you. But, like, why take it to a very aggressive state? Like, it's If you not can necessary. already just have a normal platonic not platonic but like yeah, you know you like, can have a normal relationship i'm sure like no need to 50 shades of gray it yeah dude right? like even maybe when you see so much of that yeah you become desensitized to like regular uh 
uh, um, like sex and regular shit. Maybe you just get maybe crazier and crazier. And what you feel is more like better is the more demonic weird shit, which weirds me. Yeah, but you know what else ties into that too? Like money, power, drugs. Like exactly. you could be in the wrong state of mind. I mean, the, the things that Eliza and them were saying that he was saying for them to do to him, like out of pocket, right? Like, so he's clearly into some nasty shit, but best of luck to him allegedly for whatever's going on. Exactly. But I wanted to talk about Eliza. So I don't really care about these few people to begin with, but I came across, um, it was night, it was late night. I couldn't sleep. So no jumpers podcast, but it was house phone on it. And I really like house phone. Love I've his been energy. Telling you, his energy. I really, out of all of these podcasts, there's like two people that yeah. I, it's Bobby Lee and tiger belly yeah. and house phone for some reason. Good energy, bro. Good energy. Good and person. Bro, good like. It was hilarious because he was watching, um, that other podcast of where they were, they were, they were putting him on the yeah. spot for using the N word with a white girl, like high fiving yeah. Riley Reed for using the N word that yes. was kind of did you see riley reed's song bro? bro what is happening okay all out of not that was racist bro i love the way he handled it though yeah like he, he took watched it on his own podcast and he and he like um owned it right mm -hmm. took accountability and was like bro but then eliza was there too and she was just immediately just doing a lot so then of course like that rabbit hole i click on her profile i look at her youtube and just wild right but she's chill like i um, actually kind of like didn't have a problem with her like i thought she was chill good energy very um like magnetic energy right and even in her vlogs if you watch them which i watched a few like she's very very kind mm -hmm. but it's just like there's immediately just a, a, a misconception because she's on only fans she does porn all these things right so which, which which brought me to her singing career that she wants to do she essentially sings and compared herself to like a potential janae aiko uh, mixed with like even billy eilish but she wants to kick off a singing career and then House would ask her if, like, she'd even be taken seriously, essentially, because, because of, of her OnlyFans career and stuff. Because of what people know her as, you know? So I, I was like, well. It is a weird uh, little bit of, it's a weird situation because, like, people will associate you with what uh, you primarily did or do. But, like, look at the Kim Kardashians of the world. She got popping off of that Ray J sex tape, and then now she's, like, a and mogul. Built, and then Exactly, yeah. bro. And now she's, like, a mogul, about to be a lawyer, doing, like, a million different things in fashion and skincare and, like, uh, perfume. Everything, e reality literally everything. TV. But then again. But then again, she had Kris Jenner. Also a goat like, that does the everything. The world, who, by the way, Corey Gamble apparently was caught kissing another girl. Uh, he just took a major Which Kanye out. put him on blast. Yeah. He was yeah. like, thank God he's out of here. <laughs> I never trust him anyway. Bro, he's right though. Nobody knows about anything about him. His yeah. family. And well, where did he come from? He was Justin Bieber's manager. Damn. I, I don't know if he still is. I don't yeah. think so because he, that other white boy, uh, Scooter Braun or whatever is. Somebody uh, else. I think that's yeah. his, uh, or Justin Bieber's manager, or maybe yeah. ex, I don't know. But it's crazy to think because you do associate, like a lot of girls that have tried to venture off away from porn and shit, it doesn't really work out because like there's this girl, there's a porn star called Mia Khalifa, right? A lot of people know her. She's like one of the most popping porn stars. And when she, and she's a smart girl, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, someone told me I look like her once when I had glasses Middle Eastern, on. bro. Remember I asked you, I was like, who is she? Yeah. And I was like, uh, I don't no. know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what. <laughs> no, but a lot of people, when she started getting into sports because she's like super into sports, she's yeah. like a smart girl. They're like, dude, you're just a porn star. Yeah, you can't. What do you know? <laughs> about sports you know first of all it takes a lot of courage to be a porn star it does so i'll give you that yeah all right but i i am a firm believer take porn away from it right career yeah. in terms of career i believe firmly the most successful people are driven in multiple career careers right they don't just settle for one thing and branches off into multiple different things and they don't let that one initial like um branch i feel like associate them right mm -hmm. granted Porn isn't your average day to day like job like that is considered to be heavily like scrutinized, norm, right? It's just like a little sense, you know, like it's like a little like, oh, you do porn, but it's like, oh, but you want to be a singer, you know? But then you look at like Black China, Amber Rose, right? I mean, they're doing their thing. They're like reality TV stars and stuff, and they're on OnlyFans mm -hmm. and stuff. I think it's a new reality that we live in where it's almost normal. Like OnlyFans is so normal mm -hmm. that it's become a part of society. So like, and Eliza even said that too. She was like, you know, and apparently she's been doing music for a while, you said? Since she was a kid. And she's good. Yeah, is she good? Yeah, yeah. I have to listen to her stuff. But she was talking about how she wants to do it and like people 
immediately just associate with her. Oh, you're just an OnlyFans model. But it's like, well, get and here's more. the thing. Like, even House Phone kind of said, like, he was like, you know, there's a, a lot of girls. Like, Ruby Rose is also kind of like an OnlyFans girl. I don't know if she does porn and stuff, but like, a lot of people associate with her, like, with that little kind of sense of a thing. But she made music and it was kind of popping too. And now she's kind of venturing off, I think. But Eliza was like, why do I have to stick to one thing? I want to do everything. I want to do this. I want to do that. And what, but for me, if, she was to ask me, and I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm I'm in the entertainment space, but I'm also not at the level where like I can balance sixteen things at this very moment. I'm kind of one yeah. right now, you know, focused on one thing. But I don't know because like if I think about it, I'm automatically gonna assume one thing because a lot of TikTokers try to become musicians, and it just doesn't work out. It does, you it, know. It almost feels like they need that little first like influencer um, opportunity to like. Um to like feed from and leverage. I get it. It's a platform to get an audience. Exactly. Because what's the difference in that and any other entertainer who like uses that as an advantage? Goes into acting to become yeah. you know even art these like they become brand ambassadors, uh, not ambassadors, brand owners. Mm -hmm. They create like all these other things and like you know they use their audience for that. And I don't think it's the most ethical way because now you're just like like and I've said this before. Like for example, J Lo doing a makeup beauty line. It's like well you've had your makeup done your whole life. Do you know enough? Or do you know the chemistry behind makeup? All these things, right? Whereas a professional who studies it. A chemist maybe yeah. you know the formulas and stuff but again I, i'm a firm believer of why not i love the idea of having multiple revenues mm -hmm. and multiple different like career paths but it's also like understand your reputation at this point you know like to in order to be taken seriously in the real world you got to come off as a professional in some sort of way right mm -hmm. and i don't know that pornography will be associated with that for the most part like you will still be like oh but then again is anyone worried about what kim kardashian and her sex tape today compared to the amount of impact that she has yeah you're right no but one's saying oh welcome to the, the the white house i love your porn your uh, i love your sex tape with <laughs> yeah, ray j that's true you know? they probably don't have the balls because she's worth yeah. bees you feel me and she's in law school now like i mean i think it's kind of cool you got to think about it though you don't want to give a lot of people reasons to write you off yeah. you know everybody in this world that we live in they'll find every single opportunity to write you off yeah. like they'll find a chink in your armor and they'll attack that even if you're just like a regular person in the workspace and like working oh, yeah. a nine-to-five if they find something to scrutinize you over and make sure that they have kind of like a, a leverage over you they'll use it let alone like something as heavily scrutinized as porn of mm -hmm. course it's not as taboo as it once was in the past there's so many like porn stars girls that are in the industry that are doing big big things that have multi 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 million dollar companies under their name right now but i think if you're deciding on going the music route and going i don't know if she's trying to go the mainstream route you could be like an underground type artist and make a lot of money and not be signed but if you want to be one of those bigger r&b artists which she said she's not she's like i just i have the money and I have the means to release my art into this world, and that's what I'm doing. But in order for people, I feel like, just like pseudoscience, your know, brain chemistry, how people think is like if you release a song on a Friday on Apple Music and then your sex tape releases next Monday on OnlyFans, on OnlyFans you feel me? Nobody is going to like be focused you on the song. You think so, bro? It's going to overpower. I feel like the... the Look at Cardi B, though. She almost uses her experience dancing and, like, whatever she did as an opportunity. I mean, her music is a great example of, like, that But it's like, itself. imagine if Cardi B went back to stripping right now. On top, she was probably making hundreds and hundreds of yeah. thousands of dollars a month stripping. Yeah. You know? If she was a stripper not right now mm -hmm. and then released her singles and going on the red carpet the next day... It would just kind of be like... At the Grammys? You know I think saying? it's pretty dope. I mean, I... Listen, at the end of the day, all that matters is... Yeah what you what your perception is of yourself and like how you care of what like how much do you care in terms yeah. of what people think of you especially if you have a bag already who gives a fuck right and like you don't have to it doesn't have to again be related to like pornography whatever it could be anything because no matter what people are like you said gonna find a way to like belittle you but it really just matters like do you care enough to to have that reputation all while trying to own all these other things and be you know a advocate for like these brands and like also music and I love that Eliza was like I want to know the engineering I want to know everything involved in it like Which i don't want to just produce shit. you know she's like Inch i think there's nothing wrong no matter i mean that works for her it would never work for me but i don't think that anything's wrong with the concept of wanting to pursue multiple things it's just a matter of how you know understand the fact that some people are just going to be like kind of caught off guard with it and you might not be taken as seriously as you want just because of that and that sucks in the real world but 
there has to be some sort of professionalism at some point, you know? Because with these bigger companies, mm -hmm. like a lot of people, even on YouTube, you know what I mean? YouTube started off as like uploading random videos on the internet, doesn't matter what it is, but now it's more family friendly. Like if we even cuss or use a word, a trigger word, like we were talking about in the beginning of this video, they'll flag it, you know what I mean? Whereas like, if you're becoming an artist, a lot of these companies that will sign you for that big bag, again, I'm sure she has a bag on her own with OnlyFans, she's probably making hundreds of thousands, Lots if not of millions money, of dollars. Yeah. She doesn't need a label, you know what I mean? She's not struggling for money, but they wanna market your ass correctly. They wanna put you on a billboard and make sure when people are searching your name, little 13, 14 year olds that wanna listen to R&B and shit, <laughs> they ain't gonna pull up an OnlyFans video on accident, and you feel me, and see that you doing your thing, which is totally fine, you feel it's me? It's not like these 13 and 14 year olds aren't listening to Future's music anyway. That's true. I mean, everything that she's doing, he's just saying in his lyrics. You just see little 13-year-old girls in middle school and shit flipping, talking about flipping peas. <laughs> Pushing peas. I almost, like, just don't even know at this point, like, what's considered appropriate anymore with the amount of things that I see. Even nudity on mm -hmm. TV, like, with regular TV shows, I almost, like, can't watch TV around my mom anymore. It's yeah. just, like, I get Sus. so uncomfortable, and you never know. On regular Netflix, right? Like, growing up, what was considered rated R for me compared to just like PG-13 now and still what they show, I'm like beyond, you know? Like, so it's just a matter of like, I guess, again, new society, new day and age, but I don't know where it's going. Man, handle your business, Eliza. Do you though? Yeah, for real. <laughs> no judgment here. No judgment on this <laughs> side, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's all. And good luck to Trey Songs. Good luck to Trey Songs because he's in a lot of shabakery. I feel for the victims and yeah. Epstein didn't kill himself. Epstein did not kill <laughs> And all that, know this video is getting deleted. <laughs> Tomorrow? If you're listening, you can watch us on youtube.com slash the Dima podcast. Stream us on all platforms at the Dima podcast. We love you very much. TDP. We out. We out.